Okay, as part of our Achilles Injury and Surgery Rehab Program, I thought I'd go through and show you how we progress a calf raise from start to finish. And it's pretty easy. First thing we go for is an isometric raise. So this is when you're going from perhaps an acute or semi sort of acute stage where perhaps there's a little bit of pain or you've finished your sort of time in a boot and you need to start doing calf raises, this is where you start. What I'll do is forget about the step for the moment. You're gonna start from the floor and you're only gonna do isometric, which is basically going up on two feet and holding it there. Now that may seem silly, but what you're trying to aim is to try and just get the function of the Achilles working and the calf to get you off the floor and onto your toes. Okay, so definitely going on two feet and you wanna sort of stay 50-50. Initially, when you're a bit sore, if you've had surgery or anything like that, you're going to maybe go off onto one foot. So say this my right foot is the injured one, you're probably going to end off having to put weight on something and put weight on here. Now that's okay. But what I want you to try and aim for is once you get this 50-50, then you're allowed to move on. So when you come up on two toes here, or two feet, you're trying to get the weight on the ball of your foot. So right through this section here, all right, and not, not the tip of your toes, but this section here, up onto your toes and stay there till you get that sort of lock feeling in your calves. And the isometric part is trying to balance there and stay there for at least 30 seconds. Okay, that's what you want to aim for. You probably start off with 10 seconds or five, okay? But getting to 30 is the key and trying to keep the weight on too. So there's no sort of contraction up and down. It's just getting up and staying in a contraction, okay? That's your initial one. That's your calf raise isometric. Then you want to aim for reps. So you're still not on the step. You're going to go for up and down on two feet. And this is where you're going to get some contract relax the tendon. So it's a lot more work for the tendon because you're just, on the isometric, you're just doing one and holding it. This one, you're doing reps. So I would go for around 10 to 12 reps and you're aiming for, you know, two sets to start with, maybe three, maybe even four. But definitely around the three set range is what you want to aim for. Just notice that you're going not too quick on the way up, a little bit of a nicer hold at the top, and then a slow movement on the way down. So I'd sort of go one second there, and then maybe two to three seconds on the way down. You can even slow it down to sort of, if you're a bit weak, two seconds up, and then maybe four seconds down. Okay, now once you've got that, the next stage is still not on the single leg, it's off a step, because from this one, you're from the floor, so the range is zero degrees, or like right angles, okay? If you go on a step like this, and again, you can put weight or hold on to something for balance, that's okay, because we're not about balance today, we're just about strength. What you want to do is when you come up, that's normal, but when you come down, that was where I was on the floor, now you're going to try and go as far down as you can. Now you'll feel a bit of a stretch with that. Just make sure, remember, this is a gastrocnemius bias on the raise, so I want your knee straight, not bent. So when you come up, some people tend to sort of bend their knees to try and use some part of their leg because they don't trust the rest of their, or the, their gastroc, or maybe it's because it's weak. So make sure when you come up and down with this one, it is a straight knee one, okay? Because we're biasing the gastrocs at the moment. Soleus is a whole lot different. So that would be your sort of progression from isometric to calf raise on the floor to calf raise on the step. There's also bent knee ones, which is going to work on your soleus. So what you can do with this one is go there and come up like that and down. Now when you do that, you'll notice that the load is a little bit down further in the calf because the soleus doesn't attach above the knee. So when you bend your knees, you're going to sort of take out the gastroc out of the equation. See, it's a lot not working as much. You're going to work way down through here. You can see that soleus kick in here. So Bent knee ones are also really, really good, and they're in the Achilles program to try and get some strength in that muscle there, not just working on your gastroc, okay? So they, again, go to a step, and you can bend your knee, and then come up on that, and work all the way down, and come up. They're a little bit more awkward than doing the normal race, but also very, very important. So you can progress both of those. The best way to do that is to go eccentric. So you go back to the floor because you've done your range there, but now you have to go on single legs. So you go back to the floor and start working on going up on there. And then, this is the hard part, if you look at me this way, you're gonna come up and then you're gonna transition to one. 
and hold it. Now there's your isometric, and then slowly down here. Now when you're sort of got a really weak Achilles, maybe you're straight out of surgery, you don't want to be doing that straight away. But when you get to that point where you're allowed to, you'll still find it very, very hard to shift over and completely onto one because you don't have enough strength there. You find you're okay on two, but as soon as you go to one, it's harder. So what I suggest you do is when you come up, if I show you here, when you come up, you transition to about 75% or 80% or 60%, whatever is more than your 50-50 you were before. So you go to say 75 here. So this one here is 25. So when you come down, I've got a little bit of weight here to help out this one. Okay, so up on two, and then 75% on the injured leg and down. Now what you're aiming to do is go from 75, 80, 85, 90, over that time period in the program to then eventually just go, okay, I can go up, I can lift that, get my isometric hold, and then slowly down. Now once you've got that eccentric control there, you're winning, because then it's easy from then on in to get fully strong through your Achilles and your calf. You'd progress that to a step, so you'd go back the step, up on two, over to that one, slowly down, okay, back to two, progress up, over to that one, and slowly down all the way to the floor. Again, sole air, so you can do the same thing. Bent knee, up on two, down, okay? Same on the step, bent knee, up on two, down. Once you've got the eccentric part, then it's simply concentric. You go back to the floor again, you're gonna stand on one leg, up and down. And you'll notice that you really need a lot of strength to do this, okay? So if you've had that injury or surgery, and you're going from eccentric, you'll find there's another big jump. Just like there was a big jump from two legs to eccentric, there's a massive jump from eccentric to single leg. So you have to go back to the floor because you've only got enough strength to go from say zero degrees dorsiflexion to up, and it's about getting it's about getting that height. And I suggest you don't try and put weight through it. If you can only get this far up, so be it. You're aiming to get all the way up. Once you get all the way up to the step. Okay, so you're gonna go all the way down and then push all the way up and you're gonna find that way harder. Then it's about putting weight on. If you've got to the point where you can do a single leg off a step, you're doing really, really well, okay? So you then put some weight on, back to here, all the way down and push all the way up again, okay? They're getting really hard when you get to that point. It depends on how much weight you wanna do that sort of thing really gets you pushing into the sport range and the running range. So there's my little progression thing. The rest of all the exercises are obviously in our program. See you next time.